Look who's behind me. It's James Danner. Hey guys, Scanner Danner here. I'm at Auto Perfection in Bethel Park and I got my brother working, sneaking up behind me. <laughs> uh, we're gonna do something a little bit different here today. Uh, plug in my brother's channel to start off with, James Danner right here on YouTube. You can look him up. You'll find some uh, links in the description of this video and maybe what we'll do is we'll throw, nope, wrong side. We'll put a little exclamation point up there at the top of the screen you click on that exclamation point take you right to his channel um, as you're watching him finish up this vehicle behind me let me just introduce what we're doing here um, my father-in-law's truck is actually here at the shop uh, he called me yesterday broke down uh, on his way to the store and um, was able to coast it into a parking lot uh, symptom wise he told me that the truck would um what well stalled wouldn't restart but it seemed like it wanted to so it was like a start run stall type thing and uh, my suspicions right away were fuel related just given that we had a toad here to auto perfection i can't drop fuel tanks in my driveway at home well i could but it wouldn't be fun so it's here at my brother's shop we're going to troubleshoot this thing together and to give you guys a heads up uh danner's already looked at it and so we have an idea of where we're going with it and we'll try to bring you up to speed here in a second so you want to talk about what what you did what what you did first or nick. well let's bring nick over here and nick, he don't want to be in it why not because you gotta you gotta catch nick like let me see that boat. light what's that it's in my next video i got it with a ratchet dude it's awesome yeah man it was like a hundred but bucks. it's snap on Everybody gonna but give us all kinds it. of crap. It turns about. into a flashlight. Then what'd you shot it on that for? <laughs> <laughs> or it turns into one of these. I'm all greasy now. Well, dude, I'm playing with the antifreeze and it has a really strong magnet. Yeah, that's sweet. I like that. So I'm waiting to do an alignment so you want to and talk realize that it's not yeah. you know on the car anymore. Oh yeah. Because <laughs> it's like really cool. Yeah. Um yeah. Wait, so wipe your face off first. What? Nobody wants to look at your sweaty <laughs> ass. <laughs> Come on. I'm serious. I'm, it's like the antifreeze. I think I could be a cameraman now, honestly. All right, so I don't know if Hold you want to. Wait. Move over. The mic's here, so you, as long as you're next to me talking, we're good. So what I was <laughs> no, saying. No. <laughs> um, Closer, wait. Center. Move that way just a little bit. There you go. Good. All right. Okay. Wait. So Danner's going to fill us in on what you found. I Honestly, to be honest with you guys, I told... I told my brother, I said, troubleshoot it and get the part. That way, when we do this video together, why do I hear your Bluetooth? Oh, because I'm listening to the radio. <laughs> Come fact, on. A lot of my videos, I hear that. I'm yeah, like, oh, I know. Man. Dumbass. No wonder I'm like talking. I'll be like, uh, uh. Rookie. Yeah. Anyway, I told him um, to troubleshoot it and then bring us uh, or get the part because you guys like to see a fix. In a lot of my videos, I'm not fixing stuff. I'm just pointing and... So anyway, we had some preliminary stuff going into this. We know pretty much where we're going and I'm just bringing you guys up to speed. So you want to yeah. talk about the yeah, so stink bug now yeah, or, or well, later? Well, no, I just start at the beginning. Okay. Um, it was on the tow truck and I, when we drifted it down in here, I started it and it starts up and it runs really nice yeah. for like- This does. It does, okay. really nice for like two, three seconds. Okay. And then start, you know, give it gas. It's like pop, 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 you know what I mean? It won't accept gas and then then it'll stall and i'm thinking okay well maybe it was a fuel pump like you were thinking yeah. originally maybe something like that where you know it had just a surface prime but then the pump's running too slow you know what i mean yep. so i started up again same thing like it's you know it's weird it's not acting like a normal fuel pump it's yeah. like usually you'll run it out of fuel and then it'll just crank 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 mm -hmm. i see what what did i do next i think we pushed it we might have pushed it over there to get it out of the way mm -hmm. and then um I put the scanner on it. I wanted to see if there's any codes. You know what I mean? No like, faults, no right? Fa no, no fault, fault codes. codes and well, I created one now, but no codes at all. Yeah. I did notice, you know, because we were thinking fuel, um, even though it wasn't in, I don't know if, you know, I mean, I got a new update on my scanner, so I'm not quite sure everything yeah. about it, but the long-term fuel trims were like 100%. You know okay. what I mean? Yeah. And, um, so that wasn't the alpha went, that Nissan uses? You know, they use short-term alpha and long-term alpha? I'm not sure. It's 100 is their baseline number? It's possible. Okay. Like I just saw that real quick. Yeah. You know what I mean? Then um, 
Then I looked at the mass airflow and I noticed that I had like eight tenths of a volt and when it would start up, it only went up to like one volt. You know what I mean? I would think I would see a little bit more of a So spike. it was eight tenths with the key on engine off yeah. and then only to one volt yeah. when and you started it. When Got I started it. So gotcha. I mean, I'm thinking, okay, you know what I mean? Then I was looking at my RPM to see if, if I had a crank sensor wobbling yeah. or something that, yeah. you know, it would start up and then once the RPMs got up it didn't know what to do and would shut down but my RPM stayed good even while it was starting to chug and yeah so it was that kind of quick and dirty stuff yeah. and then the next step was I'm like do I have a fuel problem and in here I can't always break out a scope and you know sure. and do all that kind of well, stuff. well I mean so, that's why we're here too yeah. I want you guys to know there's different ways to do things yeah. and it doesn't always have to be the training part that I try to hit it hit it from yeah. which is show you everything yeah. it needs to be fix the car we, yeah. we need to fix the car it's Friday yep right and it's four o'clock yep. and you know and Joe's like, over there like <laughs> it's like you got this camera because he's here right right so um, we need to fix it yeah. that's what we're doing so the next step is I just pulled the air boot off and I sprayed carb, or I mean, uh, started while it was there. dying out, while I was dying and I kept it running. Okay. So, okay. I definitely got a fuel issue. Yeah. Don't know what it is yet. Yeah. And that's where the stink bug one comes in. Okay. Stink bug. We had this, we had this Ford. Stink bug story. Nick, if Nick was here, where are you, Nick? Um, I'm moving you over. Okay. If he, you want me to look shorter than no, you? <laughs> no, cause then my head looks oh, real big. Okay. Um, so, <laughs> So, you gonna come over and talk about the stink bug? <laughs> anyway, so we had this Ford in, um, like talk an old, old Lincoln or something, and the guy was waiting. So we're already like pressed for time, you know, and I can't remember the exact, he would probably remember, but it was like, it was running too fast and it was like surging like too high, too low. So like an idle air motor would if you had a big vacuum leak and yeah. it was like on yeah. and off, on and off, you know what I mean? And Nick's like, you sure the mass airflow, you know, maybe it's dirty. I'm like, it ain't that, you know what I mean? You know, I just like, you know, and the guy's waiting. I'm like, I'm digging into like <laughs> idle air motors and young punk. Leaks, What's that young you know punk? I mean? No, he's, you know, and then how many years you got in the field, <laughs> Nick? A lot. Six or seven. Yeah. yeah he's still a young punk yeah. in comparison to the old guys. <laughs> so whatever it was, I was wrong. And I was like dead set on it. And Nick was like, he was like, I'm pulling a mass airflow. So he pulls it out. Sure enough, there's a stink bug in it, you know, <laughs> melted to the hot wire, oh, you know man. what I mean? So I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. So, you know, like I said, the guy's waiting, you know, an old guy just wanted the car to run. I, thought, I don't even think it would get out of its own way. And, I, and uh, so I'm like, I blew it out, but you could see like its wing had like wrapped around, the, <laughs> you know what I mean? And yes. it was black and yeah. it, it was there. And I'm doing the best I could with like a toothpick to try to get that off of there. And I broke the wire, you know what I mean? And at that point we had to, do something with the mass airflow yeah and I had a used one actually that had I don't whatever it was we put it in and it ran perfect you know so you haven't so lived it down I am I can't never live it down you know what I mean because it's always like remember that stink bug and that was I mean? the issue here with this yeah. Nissan that you guys are about to see exactly we I'm like Nick we got to do a fuel pressure test and I'm like ready to like start really getting scanner dannerish on it and he <laughs> was just like just pull the freaking mass airflow <laughs> sensor out I'm like well I can't do that yet because Paul's coming right Wait, so this has a default strategy. I was surprised when he told me this over the phone. You unplugged it in the car and the truck ran decent. Man, I, I, well, I didn't try like driving Right, but it, I don't but remember Nissan idle. having a good backup strategy for their mass airflow, so that's surprising to me. So we'll bring that over here. Well, we will, no. So let's tell them what we're gonna do. So I, I think, well, Danner's got work to do, so we're gonna try to be quick, but what I wanna show everyone is the start run stall that it was doing, Still if we doing. can. Yeah, they can. Add the ether yep. to the intake so we can show it's fuel related. Mm -hmm. We don't have to break out the scan tool yeah. Scope or nothing. Let's just focus on it like that. You would like would have liked to know what a stink bug waveform looked like. <laughs> <laughs> agree, agree. But so this one looks like a piece of. There, he did a visual inspection on the math on after unplugging he was like, it. Is this supposed to be right. So that's where the stink bug comes in. Yeah. Is Nick's talking about the stink bug and let's. You unplug the math, it ran better, we're gonna show that. Mm -hmm. So again, I wanna review. Um, start run, stall initial, uh, adding the fuel source, making it run better. Mm -hmm. Do the unplug it test, yep. saying mass airflow. And then- Which doesn't always work. Like you doesn't said. always yeah. work, uh, but then we'll show the visual. And that's as far as we got. I, that's I, it. As I Danner, mean. I call him Danner. For you guys out there, you know him as James. Uh, he is Danner to me. When we were kids, there were four gyms that uh, we were all friends. Um, they were all friends, I was included. 
all the Jims and Paul. We all took our last names. So we all took last names. Even mom calls him Danner. <laughs> so this is Danner. Me, this is Danner. My kids, too. Except <laughs> everyone in the YouTube world knows you as James. Yeah. Anyway, so this is going to be real simple. That's what we're going to do. Let's show them. Everything, everything's plugged in though, right? Yes. Let's. It's plugged in, but it's, but it's, it's not bolted in. Oh. You know what I mean? Which is fine though, because it's going to do what it's. Will it? Yeah, it'll totally do. When we put one screw in. You don't have to. You okay. Don't watch it. Just pretend it's there. Okay. Start it. Wait, hold on. Let's make sure we're good. Yeah, go ahead. It like flares up and then it just starts falling. And then if I were to sit in there and try to get. Say it, that again. Mike's on me. I said it starts up, it'll do it again here, it'll start up the so next time around. The really nice for a second, and then if you try to, if you get in there and you try to give it gas, it won't do it. Yeah, you know gotcha. I mean? now, so this is, but guys, let's, let's make sure that these guys are clear on that. This is a pretty standard symptom of a, of a fuel delivery problem, right? I mean, when you hear something like that, that's what Danner was thinking about when he uh, initially started his diagnosis and then put some fuel, right? You used some fuel source in the air intake. Hold on, can't hear you, dude. There's a can of ether there, spray it in it. Okay, I want to say one thing about that is um, I've always warned my guys about this, Danner, and I've done it myself, but not necessarily on camera. What? Well, yeah, I mean, you have to consider the hot wire or the mass airflow sitting here and you're spraying this substance in the front of it and you have to be careful about damaging a mass airflow, but yeah. uh, I just, Well, actually, I purposely missed it because I was thinking if it was dirty, I don't want to accidentally clean it. So he's worried about cleaning it. I'm worried fixing about fixing the problem. I gotcha. <laughs> you know? All right, so you uh, yeah. were able to keep it running. Yeah, and okay. You, can see, you but, can see down in there, you know what I mean? And you can miss the airflow. Meter. Oh, gotcha. That's what you did? Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Go ahead. Okay. So you can keep it running. Can keep it running with a fuel source. We didn't put a fuel pressure gauge on it. And then what? Next step was, well, hey, did you check it for a stink bug? That was well, Nick. I said, Nick, we got to do a fuel. I started to go scanner danner, like I said, and we need to check fuel pressure and this and that. And Nick was like, you sure we don't have this another stink bug? So he pulled it out. Yeah. And then, and I'll, we'll show you, but we'll just skip a step real yep. quick. So he pulled it out and, uh, and, uh, and showed me what was in there, and I'm like, dude, don't touch it. Yeah, yeah I got I wanted you. to film it, so I said, well, let's just unplug it and see what happens. Okay. You know what I mean? So yeah. here's the un here's the unplug it test. So you got ether in there for my mid buddy. Yeah, but, but I was able to drive it off the rack to here now. You know what I mean? I do. With that, and then set the mass airflow sensor. Okay, so. At this point, you're going to probably go outside so you can get a better Yeah, but still, I mean, the fact that this is running on the unplug it test pretty much confirms your math. I'm just surprised, to be honest with you, Danner, I'm surprised that uh, ne this Nissan has a backup strategy. I just haven't seen. Oh, my goodness. What is that? <laughs> I don't know. That's why we said. It looks like a Band-Aid. <laughs> it looks like a piece of a Band-Aid. Well, we looked at the filter, you know what I mean? And there's no chunk there is of black filter. Hey, bud, how you doing? Nice. How are you doing? That is uh, pretty cool, man. Let's see if we can show them that. Hold on. You got to take that outside and get better light. No. No? Uh-uh. Oh, you got uh, you all that high tech stuff. I'm cooler than you with my uh, cameras. I think it's like something stuck in there. It looks like a piece of a Band-Aid. I mean, I don't know what that is. I definitely got that in the shot. So we need to dig this thing out of there. Hopefully not ruin the math. It, it may be ruined already. Probably not. So come over here, oh wise one, and show us how to fix this. This is the last one I tried to fix like broke. So well, you told me to order if I never ordered it. Here, you do it. I'm going to film. I'm going to film you. I can't. Yes, you can. Whose is this? Mine. Here, you just... Holy you can't say You're getting me in trouble here. I'm getting stink eye from Nick over there. Ah, uh, Nick Schmick. <laughs> Nick want to be on camera? He just want to see if this thing starts. This, this is Nick, who's giving Dan her crap. We have a healthy relationship. <laughs> what'd you, what'd you I said we have a healthy relationship. They have a healthy relationship? 
Don't break this one now, oh. like like you did with the stink bug. Okay, hold on. that, man? Balsam wood or something? Hold on, give me that. Look, it, it burned up too. See how it got hot? Hang on, I can't focus on that. I'll leave that off. What is that? It's a grubby looking hand. Hold on, stop moving. It's a working man's hand with no blue fluffy glove. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, about the blue fluffy gloves. Okay, I think I got it. You see the little yep. There's yep. a little dark mark on it. Do you, did that show up if I like move that? See the dark mark where it was like getting hot on the hot wire? Yep. The seam on it? Yeah, what is it? I don't know, man. Send it out to a lab. Fluffy gloves. I got your fluffy gloves. Dude, we're gonna tape this to the repair order. So hold on, let me stand next to you here. And we'll wrap this up. So what uh what about the inside? Does it look okay? No, no I didn't, damage I didn't on the. Look that far. Here, take but that. But that, you know, that what was like it? totally. Okay, here, man, Mister. Like, is this stuff okay? <laughs> I just dropped it. Oh, look at it, just floated yeah. right there. Is this okay? Yes, mass uh, airflow cleaner. Yes, mass airflow cleaner. <laughs> I think it's okay. Yeah, I mean, I use brake clean and a pocket screwdriver, so. You know what, I used to use brake clean all the time and then one batch of CarQuest stuff, because Joe likes the non-flammable, because I've caught stuff on fire before. <laughs> and uh, he wanted the non-flammable and it smelled like lacquer thinner, you know? And we did this engine on this Ford or something, like yeah. it wouldn't start. It like coated the spark plugs to where the spark plugs wouldn't fire. That's weird. And it, it like coated the mass airflow sensor. That's weird. And then I quit using it yeah. because it, I knew it smelled different. And then now the, it, the consistency changed. So it's back to what it was. But for, there was a batch of like two or three boxes that all smelled like- Something to think about. Like lacquer thinner, yeah. you know what I mean? And it cleaned, yeah. but it left Wait, the film. Wait, don't spray that, that direction. <laughs> Hold your hands up higher so they can see what you so just I did. I can get it in my eye without <laughs> safety glasses? Yeah, you know. I don't know that we necessarily even had to clean it. In fact, this style, I've never really had much luck with cleaning, I don't think. So I ruined it then? No, no, no. Oh, no, there's resistors in, the, in there, the cylinder style. All right. So there you go. Nick can put it back together and you can watch it run. I'm, I'm, I got work to do. No, you need to stay with me and uh, make it run. It run. Yeah, put, all right, put, slide it in there and we'll, see if it runs. But I don't have an air filter and I'm gonna suck up. Put the two filter. bolts in that mass airflow and let's run this. It comes- While it's running, you clear? No. Here, well, go ahead. Do you want to just run it like that? Yeah, I got more. Imagine that. That's all Nick Nick's been wanting to do this since 9.30 this morning. All right, you can build a job out now. And wait, would you say some scanner dan or surcharge? Shut that off. Shut that off. Gonna, I don't know how Pete writes it up, so we're going to do a scanner dan or mobile diagnostic surcharge on the bill, and then he's just going to refund it. But it's, see. it's oh, just, just, to see. just to see if he sees it, you know, because then if he asks. It's my father-in-law, so can, we're, we're messing can with him. say we had to wait freaking six hours for you to show up i we saw a green yeah i saw a green light i thought we were paused for a second we're good oh, we're good God. we're good we're good okay so i guess i'm putting this back together you put that piece of fudge? it's on the ground right there i do want to i want to analyze this <laughs> yeah. that is awesome it's not as good as the stink bug story Nick. No, because that one ran it. it would just pull you like... See, where did it come from? You know we're going to get these questions, man. And some guy's going to... One of you guys are going to chime in and have some super intelligent reason on why that I is then there. Ten minute oil change. Someone just like working next to someone cutting grass. <laughs> Changed the know. air filter while the landscapers it, it, were there. It looked like a piece of a leaf or something. Something of wood consistency. So as he's bolting that back up, I just want to say again, uh, be careful spraying anything into an air cleaner housing with a mass airflow behind it. You can damage the sensor. It is heated to a few hundred degrees above the outside air and spraying a, a liquid on there is not really a good idea. We reached in next to it and we're spraying kind of around the mass airflow. So that was what we did. Just be careful. 
Okay, one more time, I'll let you guys hear it. Maybe I should have looked at this for my father-in-law. Dave, I know you're gonna watch this. My apologies. This is something I definitely could have handled in my driveway for you. My concern, my concern was I was gonna to have to drop the fuel tank on this. And uh, that's just not something that you want to do on this year vehicle uh, in the Rust Belt of Pennsylvania. What year is this thing anyway? <laughs> All right, come over here. I know, come over here. Third freaking stand, BMW. Stand next to me. This way. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah. now, what am I saying? Uh, nothing, just let me talk. You're uh, the talent. I'm talking. It's Nick. It's all Nick's Nick. the talent. I was the one that was going to comp complicate things. <laughs> uh, I would complicate it too. So let's just do a recap of this. One is fuel related issues, mm -hmm. spray a fuel source in the intake. Many videos I've done that on. I'll put some links in, in the description of this one for you guys on that. And if you have any, uh, have my brother send me a couple where he's using a fuel source. That'd be one. The second one would be the unplug it test for the mass airflow. It doesn't always work. You guys gotta be careful with that. You have vehicles like this, you unplug a mass airflow and it doesn't really run much better than what it did yeah. with it plugged in. And, and just be careful with that. The unplug it test worked great for us here. Um, I do have some other videos where I've done the unplug it test. One was on a Benz and we questioned it, but it did run better. And I'll link that one in here. Guys, don't forget to look up my brother's channel. This is James Danner. It's Danner. You guys can all call him Danner now. And uh, again, you'll find his uh, links to his channel in the description of this and that icon that I talked about earlier. Anything else you want to say before we say goodbye to everyone? No, I got work to do and he's... I'm keeping him from keeping it from with it. my... <laughs> with my pansy hands and, and a little bit of dirt right there. there's now I okay now 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 I have dirt on my hand <laughs> all right thanks Danner okay